Hi, in today's video we will explain how to validate an acquired bullet in the bullet's acquisition validation window. So let's begin. The validation window is displayed when the bullet acquisition is completed. At this stage you can verify the automatic placement of the anchor lines, assign index numbers to the Lees and Gs, and last but not least, verify the quality of the acquisition. First, as a suggestion, you can click on the Surface Control tab and set the 3D rendering to the zero value to better see the shadow created by the shoulders and therefore precisely place the anchor lines. Then, we can start validating the automatic position of the anchor lines. Make sure they're placed on the bottom of the shoulder or on the flat part of the Lee and that they follow the angle of the stria. If necessary, click on one of the circles at the end of the anchor line to change the angle so it matches the direction of the inner stria. And then do the same for the bottom anchor line. Next, we can now right click on the first Lee on the mosaic and select change Roy order type and then select Lee number one. This action will label the first Lee and subsequently label all the following Lees and Gs as well. Then go through the rest of the Lees to adjust the anchor line placement and validate the image quality. Now, what can you do to better see the shoulders when in doubt? We can also utilize the shape of the bullet to better understand the surface and effectively adjust the anchor lines. To do this, translate, adjust the angle and zoom in the bullet. Then, as shown on the screen, you'll have a better idea to where position the anchor lines. Now that all the anchor lines are properly placed, we can do some quality control. First, select the tab Lee G Width. This table displays all Lee and G Widths to help you identify potential width problems. Orange means that the region is too large, and yellow means that the Li or G is too short. Last but not least, the Overlap Graph tab displays an X and Y deviance of the merge images. And if the X and Y deviance remains within the blue boundary lines, this indicates no merge errors occurred during the acquisition. The last step as always is to click on the green check to accept the acquired bullet. And that is it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and until next time.